Or even I listened, and this guy's a quant LOL. I thought he knew that all earnings 1 million X AI everywhere. NVIDIA is going to single handedly fuel the AI revolution that destroys mankind. Waller said to talk at market close so you can be hawkish and not jack the market too hard. I mean, he's probably just going to say hawkish and then we're going to drop overnight. NVIDIA seem like Skynet? Maybe. Did you guys notice that the CFO of NVIDIA called the company NVIDIA? Awkward. Right there, in the room with the CEO. What now? After a year of listening to, oh, stop mispronouncing NVIDIA. Thank you. Graded on me, but now it's growing. Is it because you hate NVIDIA because you bought puts? Today here, time to dust off and get ready for tomorrow. Yep. God help me, Jimmy about to squart. What the f*** are you talking about? I entered right where the wedge was breaking down, instantly destroyed. Oh, f That's terrible. I mean, it was, it, it was a bearish signal, too. The worst part about that one is it was like a good short entry. And then it just rocketed. <laughs> ding, ding. The day is done. Yeah, that was rough. Thank you guys all so much for tuning in. Uh, we'll see what happens with PMI data in the morning and futures overnight. We are in a area of relatively flat gamma above where the short interest really kicks off at 39.75, but below where the long interest kicks off at 4,005. So we found a middle ground going into tomorrow morning's economic data. We'll see how that plays out. The pump today, odd, expensive and odd but managed to get VIX down below 20 and SPX back up way outside of the majority of put volume. So if tomorrow's data is bullish, which I kind of doubt, but if it is, the market can move up into like the 4030 range, at least for now, this could expand out to like 4050 with call buying tomorrow. If it's bearish, and we slump back below that 3940 strike, things can drop pretty fast from there down. So yeah, we'll see which way we move in the morning. Overnight straddles pretty good. I'm strangled as fuck too. And straddled. I'm straddled and strangled. I'm ready. I'm I'm gonna have a good time. CNBC says Bostic remark. Hmm. I, I'd I'd still wanna see that. Anyway, yeah, that's about it. If if you got out or stopped out and we do move up in the morning, that could be a good opportunity to reposition or alternatively wait until next week to reposition. We'll, we'll see how good the PMI data is. If you didn't reposition and you still have theta, I, I wouldn't be super concerned yet. We're not we're not in a range where like we're going to see a reversal, right? So, you know, if you were in like 3 4 days ago, and, you know, you're afraid of this turnaround. I don't think it's that bad. We, we, we really haven't confirmed a, a bounce yet. We're still, we're still below that range. And now, if, if PMI comes in bullish tomorrow, we could move up into that confirmation range where we start to move into more bullish volume. And then, you know, that kind of extends the range out to probably the bottom of the collar. Waller's being a bit dumbish. I'll have to go listen to it. Is 317 enough theta for 3900s? I mean, for now, it's fine. All right, guys, that's it. I'll see you all bright and early. Later.